Dear good morning children i welcome all our grade 6 student for our online classes for this academic year 2020 to 21 today we are going to proceed our session with your science subject your first chapter is food where does it come from yes children food is essential for all living beings without food we can't able to do our work children can you give me the answer why do we eat food because food provides us essential material for growth it fight against various diseases it gives us immunity right without food we can't able to do our work so it gives us energy to do our work children you can see different states of people they used to have different types of food items right so to prepare their food items they use different types of ingredients what do you mean by ingredients the substance that are combined to make a particular dish we call it as a ingredients next we go with your sources of food there are two main sources of food item one is your plant source the other one is your animal source first we'll go with your plant source see children the green plants we usually call it as producers why we are calling plants or producers you know one thing because they prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis do you know what is meant by photosynthesis yes a plant prepare its food using a green color pigment called chlorophyll you know what happens during the process of photosynthesis during photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide from air and water from soil these two reacts in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll and it gets converted into glucose and oxygen next is your plant part of food see plants are the sources of various food ingredients such as vegetables fruits cereals pulses and spices see if you take a particular plant in a particular plant we can't say this all the parts are edible for example if you go with your beetroot radish carrot turnip the root parts are edible if you go with your spinach lettuce cabbage mint the leaves parts are edible if you go with your sugar cane potato ginger the stem parts are edible if you go with your cauliflower and broccoli the flower parts are edible then if you go with your seeds seeds of some plants as cereals or pulses small hard seeds of rice wheat maize and barley we call it as cereals cereals such as wheat and maize are ground to make flour right then seeds of plants such as beans kidney beans chickpeas and peas we call it as pulses which is used to prepare a nutrient food called sprout how come we are preparing the sprout see the process of soaking seeds for some time after which they are drained and kept undisturbed till shoots emerge from them we call it as sprouting children the sprouting seeds are very highly nutrients to our health next there are some food item which is very different from other for example if you go with your tea leaves and coffee beans we get coffee from the roasted coffee beans and we get tea from the leaves of tea plants and also there are some seeds used for making oils these seeds we use to call it as oil seeds for example seeds of your sunflower mustard and coconut plants are used to make oil next if you go with your dry fruits the seeds of some plants are eaten as a dry fruits for example if you uh, you see cashew nuts groundnuts walnuts these are all dry fruits we are we can eat as such so it is very highly nutrients to our health then if you go with your spices the spices are used in our food or obtained from different parts of plants right if you go with your cardamom cloves and pepper they are example of spices cinnamon it is obtained from a bark cardamom and black pepper are fruits see usually the spices are mostly used in biryani and your non veg right which gives a good flavor to the food substance that's about your foods plant source 
next we'll go with your animal product see the animal products are the other important sources of food children we obtained meat from chicken fish sheep and goat in some places you know meat products are obtained from the animals such as turkey duck and ghee next we obtained egg from birds such as hen duck and geese such birds we used to call it as what poultry birds and also the eggs are very rich in proteins and vitamins next is your milk milk from animals such as cow buffalo and goat milk is rich in calcium right it is essential for building your strong teeth and bones you know one thing children the milk giving animals we used to call it as milch animals there are so many products which we used to get from the milk they are cheese cotton cheese curd butter ghee and cream these are all milk products next if you go with your honey honey is a natural sweetener right honey bees produce honey from the nectar collected from the flowers it is also good for the crop production next we proceed with your what do animals eat see with the eating habits animals are divided into three categories first is your herbivores the plant the animals which eats only plants we used to call it as herbivores animals for example cow camels usually the teeth of these animals they used to have premolar and molar teeth so these teeth help the animals to cut the uh, cut and chew the food items right next if you go with your carnivorous animals animals that eats only the flesh of the other animals those animals we used to call it as car carnivorous animals they used to have their carnassial teeth that is they used to have the sharp tearing teeth so that they can tear the flesh of the animals and they can eat the flesh next if you go with your omnivorous animals animals that eats plants as well as the animals we used to call it as omnivorous animals for example human beings crow all these uh, things they used to ha eat both plants and animals next if you go with your scavengers the scavengers fed mainly on dead and decayed animals for example you can see the videos in national geographical channel when the lion tiger when they caught the deer and when they tear the flesh of the deer after eating they leave the remaining part as such and they will move off the vultures and the hyenas they used to eat the dead part of those animals these animals we used to call it as scavengers next is your decomposer usually the decomposer or break down the dead or decaying organic matter into a nutrients such as nitrogen and carbon which in turn can be used by the living plants and animals usually the examples of your decomposer are fungi and bacteria these are all the examples of decomposer they are microorganisms which cannot be seen through the naked eye only we can view through the micro microscope so that we are telling the decomposer the microorganisms are microorganisms yes with this i will close the today's session next we'll proceed with the new chapter thank you children jay gurudev